What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. We're flying in here. I decided to start a new world since there wasn't too much interesting stuff happening in the last world, I don't think. So we're just gonna keep adventuring here and it'll be pretty darn cool. Today we're just gonna play as a police officer. I think it'll be a nice fun fit. There's already a polar bear here to welcome us. like, welcome to this new world, my friend. So I did, right off the bat, you guys did let me know that it seems like Bernard is the only Mixel currently in the game, but hopefully we do see more Mixels soon. Some people seemed really excited about the new Mixels, some people seemed not very excited. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I would like just more diversity in the game in general. Does that mean more Mixels, more real life creatures, all the kind of cool stuff. But for now, there doesn't seem to be like there's gonna be too much available here for us to do in the winter biome. So we're just gonna keep going on. We're gonna go get this chest and I'm gonna pull up a airplane that we can can fly around in that. Maybe we can find something cool in the distance. I'm not really sure. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. I would definitely like to find a bunch of cool new stuff today, as I always want to do, so that's not anything new. Whoa! <laughs> just rocketing right up into the air. <laughs> nah, you're just my style, Mr. Airplane. You're just my style. And here's another cave. So, hmm. Should we hop into the cave? The thing is, is that there isn't really any cave exclusive content. Like there's nothing that's like you can find in the cave and you can't find it anywhere else. So I'm gonna keep flying around and see what else we can find in the meantime. And if not, I'll go back there. Don't worry about that. I'll go right on back and we'll find something cool there. Hmm. But for now, we just need to keep looking around. I really do want to find something cool and new today. There's a Yeti, pretty darn awesome, but not new. There's another Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Bernard's all over the place. There was also a chest down there, so let's go and check out the chest. Um, hello, Mr. Chest. What do you have in here for me? Hopefully something interesting. I don't know, what's it gonna be? <laughs> Hopefully not 7,000 chests like it was in the last episode. Another big old sword. Can't complain too much about that, pretty cool. My airplane has been really glitchy today. Look at this thing, it's going crazy. And a million Bernards. <laughs> it just loves doing that. Just loves skyrocketing into the sky. All right, um, hmm. Interesting stuff, like Bernard's just popping up literally right in front of me. <laughs> Another cave. The ice cave look interesting, but I don't know. It just seems like there's only ice biome around here, hmm. Yeah, just gotta keep looking until we find interesting stuff. A buggy falling down the hill. <laughs> Taking things out with my airplane and everything. Okay, Ooh, we got some cavemen spawning in. I just, can, maybe I should just fly out and see what other islands we can find. We just gotta keep looking for the interesting, for the new, for the bold, for the fantastic. <laughs> Cause why not? Um, hmm. Ooh, that's a big cave. There's not really much of interest in there, but it's impressively big and it goes into the mountain. So I sort of wanna check this one out for curiosity's sake. And just leads out the other side. It's like my Minecraft luck when I find uh, stuff. Ooh, finding bits of new plants. So maybe that's some good tidings. Another zombie. We're starting to find zombies more often, which is a good thing and a bad thing, seeing I already found them. It's not the most interesting thing in the world, but still cool. Hmm. Seems like this world has a lot of smaller islands in it, which is good and bad, because <laughs> it makes it harder to travel. So let's go and get another plane now, because I don't want to run back to it. Here, let's. Fine then, I will use a dinghy if I have to. Come on, give me the dinghy. There we go. <laughs> Away we go. The dinghy actually travels impressively fast in the water, so I wanna, I don't mind too much. One thing that would be interesting in this game, what is that? What? It, there was a broom, and I exploded it. What was that about? Was there a witch, and then she got like hit by a stone or something, and just fell into the water when she was riding a broom? What was that about? That was the weirdest thing I've seen in this game. It's a random broom sitting in the water, and then it explodes in fiery goodness when I touch it. Hmm, okay, there isn't too much out here. Get some, like, higher ground. We're in, like, shallow water right now, but not enough. I swear I saw some land out here. I guess it was just a generation. What is that? I don't know. There's some weird stuff spawning, and this is, like, Bermuda Triangle-level stuff. It's scary. Right, we, we, we are far enough out, though, that we can spawn an airplane in instead and just ride that around, because it can be faster, and I think it will be faster in this situation. All right, let's go for it. But yeah, it would be cool if they gave the game gave you the option to like maybe like boost up the difficulty because I've never died from an enemy before. We've never lost more than like one heart of health. So it would be super duper interesting if we could maybe like boost the difficulty and then maybe in the game it could have something like Terraria where you can find hearts and increase your health. I think that would be cool as well. Because right now the hearts are sort of pointless and it's really odd. All right, are we coming up on something? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, I might have to cut out and then just keep finding and looking and finding stuff until we get there. Oh no, 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 the bulldozer spawned and I needed that and it spawned in the water. That's a shame, I really needed the bulldozer. Well, we did run into another canyon type biome. 
which is really cool, but oh, I'm so bummed now. Hopefully if we run around, we'll luck out and see another bulldozer, but then why did it have to spawn in the water out of all places? I really need the bulldozer. That's a shame. Hmm. We'll just keep looking around, though, because usually vehicles will spawn more than once, like the city car has been all over the place right now. So hopefully we find it again. That would make me a happy, happy zebra. Would make this episode pretty darn good for me. All right, let's go to this cave. The policeman, ready for any type of cliffhanging adventure. <laughs> He's like, I am physically flipped because I love my job and I love defending the people. <laughs> but he flails his arms as he runs too. All right, looks like we're gonna ignore the Minotaur and see if we can't find anything interesting in this cave. If not, I'll probably start giving up on caves for this update because there just doesn't seem to be too much majorly interesting in them. Like, of course, we have these stalactites and stalagmites, a few different enemies, but they did say that they were going to have, like, I don't know, more specific stuff to it. Oh, boy. Quite the sprawling cave. I can say that much. I think that we just ran into an underground club, guys. Oh, my. Yes, we did. There's even a car down here that they hijacked. And it's like a crystal cave. It's like a, oh, my gosh, this place is cool, but still no new stuff. That was a funny sight to see, though, I can tell you that much. And then there you get this guy who's just like, this is my house. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Is there anything more to go down? Not really. It sort of ends off there. So I'm going to go back up. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Let's just get back. <laughs> get back to the party room. Start dancing with everybody. Be like, do 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 Dance, dance. Do the cop dance. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was like three behind me, like 10, 11. There's like so many, and then even more minotaurs. There's so much going on here. There's just like a party brawl. I don't even know. It's the craziest thing I've seen in this game right here. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is the city car again? No, it's another one. They keep spawning underground. Huh. And another one as well. <laughs> okay, this is the weirdest set of generation I have ever seen. <laughs> it's just the underground cave party. That is so darn cool. And we got a new plant, though. Can't complain about that. This is interesting. Like, the generation is really cool. I just want to find new things within it, you know? That's the exciting part, thing about this game is when you find something new that you've never, ever seen before. This guy is a pro standing on that slag. Might slag tight something. Got this tree. Hello, Mr. Tree. And it looks like we're under a swamp area now. Generation is really, really wonking out today. It is crazy cool. Whoa, wait a minute. Is this cave underwater too? This cave's got it all. It's a party, it's underwater, and it's under biomes. Am I stuck? I feel like I'm stuck right now. Uh, what is going on? Oh, no, 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 I just, my camera was just really weirdly zoomed in. We were in an underwater cave. Okay, caves might not have the most interesting stuff when it comes to new stuff, but that was really cool. <laughs> well, underwater ground cave party thing. That was the coolest cave I've ever been in. I don't know if you've seen any type of core cave, but if you have, you have to let me know. And record that stuff. Put it on YouTube. I want to see it. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's zoom in a bit, though. We are way too zoomed out. And then, these houses are so nice and cute and stuff, though. They're just these, like, tiny little abodes that it's just like, you can live here. <laughs> it's a one-by-one -one little condo. <laughs> a little studio apartment. Hmm. Just gotta look around though. I, just, I really am in the yearning urge to find new things. So I'm getting a little bummed that we're not. I mean, what we're finding is still really darn awesome, but it's just not new, you know? New and fresh and cool and clean, and there's the entrance to the cave again if we wanted to relearn, revisit that life. <laughs> okay, um, oh boy. Yeah, not too much going on besides that. We got some uh, chests over here, which I will run over to get the studs from. <laughs> Because it's the easy life, man. <laughs> you gotta do it the lazy way. Okay, maybe not. Because the cars are still very hard to turn around in this game. It's not gonna bother. Whoa! It's an elephant! You're gonna tell me there's an elephant in this game? And there's no zebra? Come on. <laughs> you guys have told me that there is an elephant in this game. It's their first time finding one! That is so darn cool. Look at how huge he is. The elephant. We gotta buy him up right now. This is so cool. He's so huge. There's a flamingo. We found him many times before, so we're not gonna worry about that, but let's go. Let's go over here and then buy. How much is he? 7,500. A little pricey, but worth every single stud. So darn cool. So darn awesome. <laughs> it's an elephant butt. <laughs> okay, let's move back. Oh, I'm so happy now. We found the new cool thing I'm looking for the elephant. <laughs> All right. 
What's going on over there? Oh, no, that's just a city car. I was like, what is that blurred out in the distance? More cool new things? It would be cool if they had donkeys, because that would only be a slight variant of the horse. It would just be gray and probably a little bit skinnier, but it would be cool to see donkeys um, and zebras. <laughs> okay, let's just keep going, though. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Get back on you. There you go. Hop back on that elephant. Mm. <laughs> it's so cool to run around on an elephant. This is the coolest thing. All right. What else can we find really quickly? More elephant pals, which is awesome. Not too much of what I need now. Oh, man. So exciting either way, though. It's just like <laughs> finding cool new things every day. That's what I want in this game, and that's what we're getting. Have we unlocked this tree? I guess we have, huh? All right, then. So we will fly out, though, and see what other cool things we can find within the last few minutes of this episode. So let's go bring up our vehicle. Thank you so much for showing me a good time, my elephant friends. See you back in the savannah. I'll visit and have a bit of a family reunion sometime. It would be cool if they did show like more of a specific savannah map. But maybe they, I'm in map, map, but by um, scrap planes. Where? Where is the scrap planes? I want to see what this is. Um, speed up, plane, speed up. Uh, I gotta find this. What is a scrap plane? Does that mean like scraps of metal? Scraps of trash? I'm not sure. There's nothing really, whoa. Oh my gosh. A monkey! This is really crazy looking. There's trash everywhere. All right, then, we have found our way onto a junk heap. Hello, monkey. <laughs> He's so happy to see me. He's like, hey, I'm a monkey. Can I ride you? You're the first character that we can't ride. You're the first creature we can't ride. Okay, then, a very interesting episode to end it off. Crazy party caves, amazing new biomes, and amazing new creatures. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. If you've watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Junkyard Monkey so that I know that you've watched at the end and that you're a zebra viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.